We begin this half hour with socks. Yes, this is a segment where it's okay to look at your feet. Lots of us just think of them as a fallback Father's Day gift likely to end up at the bottom of dad's dresser drawer. But these days, socks are on top. They are among the hottest selling item in men's fashion. Don Daler explains how and why things have changed. Vincent Nosserbach's entire store is stocked with hundreds of the hottest pairs of men's apparel. Within men's fashion, there aren't that many ways that you can change what you wear in a day. You're wearing pants, you're wearing a shirt, you might be wearing a jacket. So four years ago, Nosserbach opened up the Sock Hop in the Nolita section of New York. Were you surprised that you were kind of at the beginning of the trend? We could see it kind of start creeping up and then, sure enough, you see guys that are really into fashion wearing socks, and then it turns into guys that are more business types wearing socks, and now it's everybody. Men's socks are now the fastest growing sector of men's apparel. Sales have jumped 14% in just one year. High end dress and athletic socks have combined to create a $2.8 billion industry. But these are not your father's socks. I mean, I see polka dots, I see stripes, I see pretty much any color that you can imagine. Yeah, I think certain people used to know Argyle and that was a pattern that they could reference or simple stripes. But now after we've broken down the wall of just navy and black, we can go all sorts of designs, all sorts of colors. I wouldn't be the first person to say that socks are the new neckties. Troy Patterson writes the Gentleman Scholar column for Slate.com. He attributes the rise of the modern sock to a more dressed down workforce. It's like the one place where sort of guys who generally expected to be soberly dressed are allowed some license to be uh, to indulge in whimsy. Socks have come a long way from the Stone Age when they were made from animal skins. This pair, made of wool, are the oldest known surviving socks dating back to Egypt in the fourth century. By 1000 AD, socks have become a status symbol. Production increased with the advent of the knitting machine in 1589 and again with nylon in 1938. Now with a new hot market, stores from Macy's to Target are stocking their shelves with fashionable socks. You can buy a cashmere pair at J. Crew for $80. Barney's Elder Statesman sells for $350. While at Harry's of London, you can buy 100% Servelt socks made from New Zealand Red Deer for $1,500. It's found its niche, you know, is there, is it due for market correction? Perhaps. But nobody is forecasting a sock bubble. Turns out the footwear are versatile. I've seen them worn with jeans, but maybe suits? You'll yeah. see them in suits now too. Really? I mean, you'll see them in the boardroom, you'll see them on the office floor. There's no boundary, you can't go anymore. Even the Oval Office. To many, the nation's 41st president, George H.W. Bush, is regarded as the grandfather of the modern sock movement. He presented a pair to the 44th president last July. We actually made a special piece of furniture for the socks. Nish de Gruder is a vice president at Suit Supply. Every morning I struggle to find the right pairs together. And, uh, and how many times you see guys with different pairs of socks. This year, Suit Supply added a yearly sockscription one new pair each month. Do you find uh, business increasing around certain holidays like Father's Day? Father's Day, Mother's Day, and Christmas. People really? like to give socks, people like to get socks. Really nice socks make you happy. Yeah. Right? You have them on your feet all day. And that gives socks a leg up on the competition. One respect in which socks are better than ties. With ties, there's no sort of like tactile pleasure in it, right? It's just a thing that's around your neck. It doesn't touch your body. What is more wonderful, like on a cold winter day, than to have some like a nice rich merino wool against your feet? It's, it just lifts the spirit. So if you're shopping for dad this weekend, consider letting him put his best foot forward. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Don Daler, New York. Now I know for a fact at this table, you don't have a more casual job atmosphere. But dare I see your socks today? Oh, come on. You wouldn't ask to see something like that, would you? Ooh, I, I, see, Anthony. I wore these this morning just because of this segment. But, you know, it was special. And, you know, the thing is, I remember the first time I ever noticed somebody wore really bright socks was David Frost, the British interviewer, uh -huh. almost always wore these really bright red socks. He was usually wearing a very straight gray suit. But it was like this little surprise that he kind of kept to himself and you'd see occasionally. And I think that's I think that's behind a lot of I was going to say that's a really strong selling point, too, because you remember it after all these years. Yeah, although, I mean, it's like I like a bright tie better because that you actually get to look at. Otherwise, you have to stare down at your feet. Well, I'm excited I got to see your socks Thanks this morning. So I feel like Oops. I know you better These now. things we share with each other. <laughs>